For the 2017 Infrastructure Report Card, ASCE graded drinking water a D and wastewater a D+. Drinking water and wastewater infrastructure are critical to public health, but are too often forgotten. Every day, nearly 6 billion gallons of clean drinking water are lost due to leaking pipes. 56 million new people will be connected to centralized wastewater treatment systems by 2032. The unmet investment needs for drinking water and wastewater infrastructure between 2016 and 2025 totals $105 billion. Without greater attention and investment to improve the important network of reservoirs, pumps, pipes, and water treatment plants, the country's aging water infrastructure will continue to show signs of deterioration and decreasing levels of service. We can help solve these problems with investment, leadership, planning, and careful preparation for the future. Be part of the solution. Call your elected officials. Share Our water system relies on a complex series of ducts, pumping stations, treatment plants, and levees. However, we as Americans do not fully understand the necessity and importance of safety and cleanliness for this water system. Due to this limited attention to, on the transport system for the water we drink and dispose of, the Water Infrastructure Improvement for the Nation Act is necessary for the improvement of these systems. The Value of Water Campaign did an analysis on the effect of water service disruption on businesses and the economy, in which $43.5 billion would be compromised in one day as a result of water system disruption. Everything is affected by water systems, hotels, restaurants, farms, ranches, etc. In 2016, Barack Obama spoke about the aspects of the Water Infrastructure Improvements for the Nations Act. It focuses on improving drinking water infrastructure, watersheds, waterways, and controlling floods. The law also works on helping states with water emergencies like Flint, Michigan. $170 million was used just to fund that water emergency in order to recover the Flint, Michigan water system that had a contamination of lead into their drinking water pathways. This act also settles disputes and protects the rights of American Indian tribes by giving them greater economic development for those affected by poor infrastructure in the United States. The WIIN also plans to help the long-standing drought in California. It calls for investments in projects for water supply, water storage, flood control, desalination, and the recycling of water. While the Water Infrastructure Improvement for the Nation Act is a funded mandate by the national government, the question still remains of where this money is coming from. $10 million will be used for each project authorized by the national government in regards to the cost-shared Indian tribe protection of their water supply. Another $10 million was used to fund other water infrastructure programs, including projects to help improve Flint, Michigan. $1.5 million was used for wildlife protection just in the Great Lakes. Altogether, a total of $100 million will be set aside to help areas with drinking water emergencies regarding the infrastructure of their water systems. Improving infrastructure will result in more job opportunities for Americans to be able to work these new machines themed for helping the water systems of the United States. The main question is, however, whether this increase in jobs is worth the amount of money that goes into these projects.